Oh, you know what this should be? This should be a time lapse. This should be a time lapse. I will be right back with a time lapse. Look at that. Look at that. The enchantments aren't good yet. This is just straight up what I got from the armor. But, look at that. I'm all shiny and blue. I still don't have a weaponsmith or a toolsmith. Uh, actually, how do you get a toolsmith? Let me look at it for a sec. Smithing table. Oh, I'm missing some iron. Same with the, uh, grindstone. Okay, I'm getting distracted, though. Uh, while I do this, um... Yeah. Uh, so, this has been this episode. It's been a lot more productive, I feel. And I hope you were... I hope you were entertained. How do you make a grindstone? Okay, whatever. I got distracted. We have not two shells. We have full diamond armor. Booyah! We've got a very nice tree farm, which is going to give us lots of di lots of emeralds from chaining with the Fletcher. And we've got full diamond armor. Next episode, I'm probably going to try and get enchantments. So, we'll see how that goes. Uh, anyways, I don't have enough time. I gotta go. I just, I wanted to end this episode here, because I feel like we got a lot done. Even if most of it was in time lapses and such. So, yeah. This episode might be shorter, but it actually was a lot of work. So, bye! I fear no man, but that thing... It scares me. So, I've been doing a lot of grinding, a lot of mining off screen, I've got a bunch of iron, I've been trading a bunch of villagers, and I feel the need to show you guys something, because it's something that's in the new update. Uh, it's like a small thing that I don't seem to be talking about. I really like these spy glasses. Look at that. It only goes to the render distance, but look at it. Hello, horsey. I really like these. Look at those melons. I, I I really like this item. It's not that useful, but I quite like it. Also, I have found... Uh, if I can find... Yeah, oh, it's over here. I have found... Haha! Okay.
This is it. Okay. So, right over here, near my house, I've got a zombie spawner. If I can go down to it. And a pretty darn sweet cave. Ow. Work off. Yep. Yeah. See it? Yep, yep, yep. I actually found it way earlier and took all the good stuff and then immediately died. Oh, actually, there were two of those, so I, I took. Okay. Yeah. Uh. But. The more important thing. Ow! Is that I have plans for my mega base in this world. Uh, it's. Uh, I don't. The jumping thing. Okay, there we go. I have plans for my mega base in this world. It's gonna involve. And it's gonna involve a lot of different types of stone, especially deep slate. So, that. It is going to be majestic. I'm going to lay the foundations for it next episode. But, for the rest of this episode, I, I am, in fact, going to be making an iron farm. Well, which should be pretty sweet. Uh, so, yeah, I'll get all the stuff set up for that. And we have this zombie, we have this zombie spawner to turn into an XP farm at some point. Uh, and we'll see where this goes. Yeah, I I feel like n n nobody's watching because I'm not really doing anything interesting yet. Because I'm I'm mostly just doing normal Minecraft stuff, right? So I think once I start working on my mega base, it's gonna be cool. I I, I think you guys will like it. Okay. Uh, on to the second half of this video. Hi. Hi. Actually, this is perfect. Hello. This is your middle of the video reminder that you are not, in fact, immortal. Well, I don't know if you're immortal, but you're definitely not invincible. So do remember to take care of yourself. Uh, if you haven't eaten yet, uh, grab something to grab something to eat, even if it's just a little snack. Uh, get yourself some water to drink. It's always good to get stay hydrated. I always forget that. And uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Yeah! Guys. Guys! I saw jelly. We have a jelly here somewhere. Let's go find... Then okay. we can have our own little jelly. If you guys don't know the YouTuber Good Times with Scar, go go watch him. He is lovely. He is wholesome. He's inspiring. Uh, but he so he has a cat. Her name is Jelly. And he actually got his cat added into Minecraft as one of the new cat types like forever ago. Like there was an update forever ago that added some more cats. And he, his cat got added. So I want to get myself a Jelly. Uh, I, I gotta find her first. But, yeah. I guess while I'm looking, I'll talk about why I like Scar. Uh, first of all, Scar is insanely wholesome. Uh, it's just always just really sweet to just go and watch something that's that wholesome. Uh, also, he's an incredible builder, and he makes great videos. He's especially famous for his terraforming, which is spectacular. 
uh, but also more personally, uh, uh, Scar is very, uh, inspiring to me as a, as a fellow disabled Minecrafter. Uh, I, the way he's just so casual about uh, his disabilities, it's like, yeah. Oh, by the way, that's in this happened in regards to the wheelchair, or, oh, yeah, uh, I'm just dealing with some physical uh, pain right now, just something that's, like, a bit hard to deal with. Uh, and it's just, like, and, like, he doesn't, like, he talks about, like, the things that are hard for him in regards to that. And, like, he gets so, his community is so wholesome. And that, that actually reassures me a lot. That maybe I can build not only a community that is friendly towards, that is friendly towards my uh, disability, but also maybe one day I can build a little community that's uh, where I'm, I feel safe just kind of being casually trans. So, yeah, good times with Scar, go watch him, he'll be linked in the description. He is lovely, he's wonderful, I can't find Jelly! I saw her here yet earlier. I that's why I went to go fish. I went to go get the fish. And Jelly disappeared. I knew she was near the forest. Jelly Jelly Where'd Jelly go? Ah uh, This is so sad. This is so sad. No, I'm, I, I gotta find a jelly. Gotta find myself a jelly. That's just... I just have to. At some point, I also want to make... I want, also want to get a texture pack that makes dogs look like... Uh, my dog? To make That makes like wolves in Minecraft look like my dog. Because I want to have a buddy. You don't know, I have a Labradoodle. His name is Buddy. He is the best boy. Oh, I basically gutted this village. There's not going to be any cats spawning here. But... Yeah. So... No jelly. No jelly for me. But... Now I have the fishies. And I will be ready next time. Next time I see a jelly, I will. I will have my own jelly. So, uh, in conclusion, go watch Good Times with Scar. He is lovely and wonderful. Uh, yeah. Okay. So the big thing I've been working on. Is if, if the computer will stop lagging, it's so laggy. I'm sorry. I it, my computer is just terrible. So if you see a weird little area over there, uh, yeah, it's it is whack. Uh, because there's just a bunch of villagers. Here, yes, this one grew up. Okay, so I got three villagers. And I've got all this stuff. Uh, can you guess what we're doing? Uh, can you, can you guess what we're doing? We're making an iron farm, we're making an iron farm. Okay, uh, so I will grab, so now that the, this guy is grown up, I will grab my... Uh, 
I will grab the second computer uh, to get on my camera account, and I will start a time lapse. And I feel like people aren't really watching this series so far, like, because it hasn't really been interesting so far. Hopefully, Iron Farm is a bit more interesting. And also, next episode, I am going to be starting progress on my base. Like, my mega base. Which I have big plans for, which I'm not spoiling. Shh. Okay. Let's do this. I am not doing too well, as you can probably see by my health bar. Every every time, I keep finding new flaws in my iron farm that are causing iron golems to get stuck. So I have to go up there and fix it. And inevitably, at some point, I get hit by an iron golem. We've definitely got a lot of copper, which is very good for our eventual Statue of Liberty plan. And look what I got! It's jelly! Hey, jelly! Jelly! This makes me so happy. I... <laughs> Jelly's got a blue color. All our pets are going to have blue colors. Because blue is my color. I have got an extraordinary amount of iron now. You can't see it because it's all over here. Look, let's, let's watch it happen. No, it got stuck! See, this is what I was talking about. This is what I was talking about. If anyone knows how you uh, fix this stuff, please let me know. There we go. Okay, he fell in by himself. But as you can see, we got a lovely, lovely iron farm with a lot of problems. Please tell me how to make a more effective killing platform. Uh, this was from me cleaning it up. But look at all this iron. How do you take all the items of a certain type? Let's see, let's see if we craft this all into... Uh, how many iron blocks do we have? We have over a stack of iron blocks! That is brilliant! That is just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And here, we already, we already got more. This is my new favorite thing to do. Actually, I'm probably going to use a spyglass a lot. I really like it. Okay, everybody in the comments, though, please tell me about how inefficient and stupid my farm is so that I can improve it. Okay? I'm proud of it because I put it together myself, but I didn't follow the tutorial exactly because the tutorial did something fancier with the killing chamber. 
so I don't know. So I know that I've done. I've messed up stuff on the killing chamber. The tutorial did a killing chamber further down. I will link it in the description. Uh, but instead, I've done a killing chamber up there, which led to a lot of problems because I pretty much copied the killing chamber that they did, but the one they did was different. So basically. If you can give me, if you can tell me why Iron Golems keep getting stuck on this, more importantly, how to fix it, that would be a great help. Uh, but for now, I have an iron farm. There's another one. There's another boy. Let's watch him go into fire. Yeah! Let's watch him die. Ha, uh, that's satisfying. Uh, okay, enough watching Iron Golems die. I am very happy with this. As you can probably tell, this is my first ever iron farm. Uh, I don't- I haven't- Back when I was playing Minecraft a lot- The last time I was playing Minecraft a lot, I was- Uh- A lot more interested in- like messing around with creative mode and doing basic survival stuff i had no idea what about a lot of stuff like this so oh let's watch another one die let's watch him oh he got stuck but this is not the only thing i have achieved uh off screen i just want to see if he dies i, I want to like just will you will you die for me friendly iron golem die for my entertainment please okay no uh so i showed you the i showed you the zombie spawner i found and i have transformed it into an xp farm uh, this is actually the first type of farm I ever, I, I, the first farm I learned how to make. Like, the first, like, one of these kinds, like, where, like, move mobs around and such. Uh, oh, by the way, since the, like, little, uh, zombies riding the chicken spawn, you actually get chicken from this thing. So it's, so basically... Effectively, uh, this is a very inefficient chicken farm. And I have one last thing I want to do this episode. And then, uh, this episode is done. And I can get working on my mega base. I've put a lot of effort into the editing of this video. And I'm honestly really darn proud of it. So, I think it's this is actually a fairly interesting video. Like, I think this will actually be interesting to watch in a way that the other ones haven't been yet. Uh, the footage and such was really jumbled, so I had to, like, put things together that I didn't do on camera. Okay, there. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he gone? No! Where did the wandering trader go? We had here a wandering trader. That sold dark oak. Dark that sold dark oak saplings. We could have started a dark oak farm. That's my favorite type of wood. No. Okay. Keep an eye out for wandering traders. We need ourselves some dark oak. But, other than that small little disappointment, we have done a lot. As you can see, I started replacing the deep slate, cobbled deep slate, with this tiled deep slate. It's such a cool looking block. I'm loving it. Uh, 
We've got our villagers. Hello, enslaved ones. At some point, we need to make ourselves a little bee farm because bees are, in fact, the best. And I love them very much. Honey. Uh, next episode is going to be the beginning of my mega base. I've got two kind of weird and separate ideas for my mega base. Uh, one is going to be one big structure, and one is going to be a bunch of small structures. Uh, and I will do both of them, because there's no reason why I can't do both. And, yeah. This has been this episode. I am pretty proud of it. Hopefully people start watching. Because it kind of feels like I'm talking to the void right now. Like I put hours of hours of work into videos that nobody's watching. Uh, but I know that it, in the end, the experience that I, the things that I learned from making these videos is worth it even if nobody watches. And eventually people will watch. So hopefully that's soon though because it's kind of discouraging. Like, if I bake a cake, it's not like, if I bake a cake, I don't need people to think it's good for that experience to have been rewarding. But, you know, I still kind of want somebody to eat the cake, you know. It's kind of discouraging if nobody eats the cake, you know. That That's how I, I feel about it. But I know that I will, I will gain an audience once I... I'm making good content, hopefully, uh, and I will see you all in the next video where we are going to take things to an entirely new level. We are going to take things to the mega level. Goodbye!